Hi everyone. I know you're wondering, what do Dave and Heather do when they're not on the boat and they're not on the ice? Well, Dave, tell them what we do. We go to Cabela's <laughs> and we go on a shopping spree. Yep. Date day, no kids, they're in school. So sorry when you guys see this, we went shopping without you. But you guys stay tuned and hopefully we come back with some good deals and some nice things to get us started. We got a whole list of stuff we want to get, so let's go. All right. All right, so we made it. We're at Cabela's now. What do we got? What do we need? Uh, we need a lot of fishing poles because we either broke them or they fell over the side of the boat this past year. We broke them? Uh, the kids broke them. <laughs> uh, we snapped a lot of tips off, which is I really did good. not break it. So, uh, and then we need some trolling rods too. We're about to get hit by a car here, so we're gonna <laughs> keep walking. And uh, yeah, we want to get some real good trolling rods for our boat so we can troll for some brown trout and uh, walleye. We need walleye rods. So I got a big list. <laughs> right this way, my lady. Oh, thank you, sir. I really appreciate that. Get all excited when I walk in the store. laugh every time we come in here. Um, one of the times that we came in here, Dave got suckered into this blue-green vacation resort thing, and I walked right by him with the kids, and then I looked back, and the kids were like, Dad's talking to these girls. So I turn around, I'm like, what? And there's two girls talking to them about these vacations, but joke's on us, because Dave got us a really nice vacation. Does this look familiar, Dave? Yeah. <laughs> blue-green vacations, guys. Some sweet deals. It and was. You play it right, you can get a really good deal on rooms. Uh, <laughs> we went for a three day vacation for $32 a night at a five star resort. Yep. You just don't sign up for the timeshare. It's perfect. <laughs> the kids aren't here, but this is one of their favorite parts when they come. For obvious reasons. So, two different hats. I like them both a lot. I'm going to try them both on. Both the same price, so we'll see. So, this one just has to be a little tighter. But nice. Maybe, oh, this one's not a snapback, so we'll have yeah, to see. I like those better. The Columbia. Columbia fishing gear. I can't tighten Performance it. Performance fishing so gear. It, yeah, baby, that looks good. I don't know. This one I can't tighten, so if you, like, hit the gas on the... Turn around? On the boat, it's going to go flying off. Turn around for a second. Why, why do I... Because I want to see the back of the hat. Oh, okay. Yeah. Did you zoom in on my butt? No. Okay. Not yet. <laughs> It's tighter. Yeah, it's not too bad. Let me see the back of it though. <laughs> not too bad. You gonna leave the tag hanging off it to be cool? Obviously. <laughs> okay, so I found a black one that I think I like a little bit better. And I can always still tighten it too for those wild and crazy fast boat days. Yeah, that looks good. Not and bad. then when I get in the zone, I usually oh, no. flip not the it zone. to like a more when you're getting all crazy type of fishing, okay. yeah. Sounds good. Looks great. Yeah, you like them? I think I like it, yeah. You gonna buy it for me? I guess, if I have to. All right. If I have to do that to buy my stuff, I guess I'm gonna get it. Okay, sold. All right. What's, yeah. what's the debate? Hook fishing shirt. Okay. I like the long sleeves. Yes. Early mornings. Mm-hmm. Late evenings. Right. Black or blue? What do you think? Hmm, let's see the black. I like this pool a lot, too. I think navy blue. Color. I like navy blue, but... And I like the back, too. It's got a cool, like, hook down the back. Yep. So that's my vote. Right. Charcoal. I'm gonna try it on. All right. Going over by the mirror. But you can take your shirt off, don't you? I don't know if I can get my jag muscles on the shirt. I think we'd get more subscribers if you just took your shirt off and then put it on. I think they probably unsubscribe right away. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Looks good, babe. I love it. Perfect. I love it. Very nice. Do a yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, I got a whole list of stuff we need. New rods, like I was saying before. We need spinning reels. We need trolling reels. We need all kinds of stuff. So we're going in this direction right now to go get some stuff. After you, hot stuff. Just your tails. He just likes to say that. 
doing now? That's a really small hole. We need some, uh, I know, I don't know how they catch anything. <laughs> it's stupid. Let's do for ice fish. I don't even know where the line goes on this. <laughs> so these are wine counter reels, heavy duty ones, and they can hold a whole lot of line. And this is what we need for walleye and for spring trout. So hoping to get like four of these if the price is right, so we'll see. And I gotta hide it from the wife too, so. Hopefully she won't notice how much I'm spending on these. I think your heart just stopped when you said that. <laughs> okay, so we're just looking at the uh, reels, but then Dave said he oh, wow. had his eye on some combo ones, rod and reel. So yeah, we finally we, found them. We definitely want some good trolling rods and reels, and ones that carry a lot of line. So we're gonna do a lot of walleye on Erie this year. And like I was saying before, a lot of trout and hopefully salmon too in Ontario. So something like this is what we're looking for. But I think I got to talk to somebody and try not to break this rod and <laughs> hitting everything else. Really. So one thing led to another. Escalated quickly. <laughs> Somehow we've got four rods in here already. Uh, they're only ninety bucks. Yeah, the ones that he really oh, wanted, oh, this one, yeah, that they didn't one. have. They don't have any Okumas, which is what I really wanted. They're all sold out, but they do have these uh, Bass Pro ones, the Depth Master rods. They work like what we need. So we're going to get two six foot six rods and two seven foot six. So we should be pretty well set for trolling this year. Who so, does your hair? Some, some smoking hottie. Wow. Yeah. Looks so good. good it job. looks so good. I mean, All right, let's get shopping. Wow. All right, what's next? Uh, we got to get wine for these. Okay. And then we also need some spinning wheels. All right. Combo. So we're gonna go buy a couple of those. Okay. Seriously. All right. Burning a lot. So Dave had to phone a friend. <laughs> I had to use the phone a friend. Uh, <laughs> I had to use one of mine to uh, find out what kind of line to put on these reels because I don't know. So I want to use them for Erie for walleye, but yet use the same rods and reel combos for Ontario for trout and salmon. So you gotta ask a buddy, I guess. So, so shout out to? Shout, shout out to my buddy, John, who gave me a good answer. <laughs> okay, so a little update. Dave went a little crazy, but here's the cart so far. All sorts of goodies, lots of rod and reel combos, and then we had to find just some rods because he already has some reels. So now the last thing on our list here to do would be to get life jackets. And as you can see, there's so many life jackets. I need one, Dave needs one, Colton needs one, and um, Adeline can still fit into hers, but She's growing fast. She's only like three, she's in three more pounds, she'll be out of hers. So uh, probably worth it to get her one here today. Stay tuned. All right, little update on the life jackets. We are upgrading this year. The kids are getting bigger and we need stuff too that looks a little nicer than the orange life jackets. So Caddy's getting a new purple one. Colt's getting a new gray one. And we're going with these automatic inflatable ones because these ones are going to be really nice on the boat during the cold weather. So <laughs> I can't even start the video. Okay. All right, so we just got out of the store, which shout out to Gary if you ever see this. He was our checkout guy. Wonderful. Very funny. We didn't want to videotape when we were actually checking out because the store doesn't like that, obviously. So, but uh, <laughs> let me see how much we spent here. <laughs> Uh, let's see, before tax, $1,083. I don't think we can even get it on the camera. And uh, I had some gift cards and some points to redeem, so we're down to $923. So <laughs> not too bad for, you know, a little visit to Cabela's. <laughs> All right, so we'll show you our cart too. Just a few things. <laughs> what are you gonna do? <laughs> Time for lunch. Time for lunch, guys. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back. It's a nice day. We didn't really get a chance to do an outro yesterday. We were just too hungry. We wanted to go eat lunch. Uh, and we didn't get a chance to really show you guys a little bit more in depth what we bought. So we kind of got everything laid out here in front of us today. We're going to kind of go through everything we got and just give you guys an idea what about $1,000 can get you at Cabela's. We did leave the big lengthy receipt. We've got some lures, some clothes, 
Uh, we got some light jackets too, and then we've got plenty of poles. To yeah, them. I'm gonna go through everything, and these new rods we got just kind of show you guys what they are. And <laughs> bloopers. All right, guys. So I'm gonna go through all these rods and just kind of give you guys an idea what these rods are gonna be used for. And you'll probably see us use these rods in upcoming videos. And we'll also show you one of the tackle we got. All right, guys. Real quick. These are our new trolling setups. We got the Bass Pro Shops Depth Master combos and the wine counter rails. Got four of them. We got two of them in the six foot six size and two in the seven foot six size. You can see there's a longer handle on some of them. So uh, we're going to use these four for trolling on the Great Lakes and uh, the larger ones we're going to use on the outsides of the boat and the Shorter handle ones we're planning to use on the inside so we can troll all four rods at the same time without the lines being tangled up. All right, guys, we got a few new spinning rods this year, uh, mainly for casting for panfish, walleye, things like that. Uh, we've got a few different sizes. We got the six foot six and the five foot six. Uh, this will be mainly for panfish, this will be mainly for casting bass, walleye, things like that. And over here, we got a few new. Rods, this is a new reel. These I've actually put on, these were spare reels I had laying around. I've already got these already set up. And basically we needed just a few more extra rods for jigging and casting. We've paired this Berkley lightning rod, the five foot six size with a Daiwa Crossfire 3000 reel. So real nice little reel. It's gonna work awesome for panfish. We also have the six foot six versions over here. Real nice rods for casting and jigging. All right, guys, this is some of the tackle we bought, and these are some of our absolute favorites right here. We got the VMC Moon Eye Jigs heads. Uh, these are gonna go in combination with some of these tails that we have over here. Uh, also, the Cabela Jig Heads, our absolute favorite are the pink. We have found that these pink jig heads, in combination with some of these uh, white tails, uh, a lot of different versions I'm gonna get into in a minute, really, really work well for walleye and for the crappies. So those are the two main fish we're gonna be going after in the spring. Another real good color is the green, and we got these because they got some different color with them, like the, the uh, orange and yellow on the jig head. So those are an awesome combination. Cabela's Brands ones, they're real nice. So we got a couple different sizes, the eighth ounce and the one sixteenth ounce size jig head up here. And then also these down here are the, the quarter ounce. So. A lot of different sizes, a lot of different options that we're gonna have. And over here we got the different tails that we got. So uh, for walleye, the paddle tails we found are awesome. And these uh, larger size grubs are gonna go well with the jig heads like I showed. Uh, just basic white twister tail crappy tails. Uh, these are the squirming grubs. Those are awesome. And these are probably our number one favorite more than any other tail that we have found. Mr. Crappy by Strike King, but you gotta get the glow. The glow, paddle tail, slabalicious. Uh, these are the two inchers. So these are our absolute favorite and we found that pretty much everything bites on these and you can use a variety of different size jig heads with these. So we caught all kinds of crappy and walleye on these last year. And if you watch our previous videos, uh, you'll see us catch all kinds of fish on these. So get some of these and try them out. They're just awesome. And you can't forget some spare treble hooks. And we're going to switch a lot of our stick baits and crankbaits out with some brand new treble hooks this year. So the last few things that we got were the life jackets. We got two for the kids. Um, we got two for Dave and I. And then, of course, we can't go into Cabela's without me getting some sort of clothes or something. It's only fair, right, with this poles? And yesterday we saw this hat. I love it so much. I think it's going to come in really handy. I've got a million hats, but the sun, you know, beats them down. So looking forward to some new hats this year. Got a Cabela's tank top. Got to have the racer back, you know. Then I just got a plain t-shirt because they're super comfortable, you know, lightweight. Just nice to have on for shorts or whatever. And then I got a really nice Under Armour reversible jacket for half off. So you can't beat that either. All right, guys, so we got the two different new style of life jackets also. We got the real nice child life jackets. It's a real nice upgrade from the ones that we were using because the kids are just getting a little bit too big for the life jackets. So awesome Bass Pro Shop life jackets. And over here, we got the automatic 
life jackets that we had wanted for a long time. They are just a real nice thing to have when the weather is cold. Up here in New York State, you gotta have a life jacket on in the off seasons if you're out on the boat. So that's a real nice thin profile life jacket that we can all wear and it won't get in the way. It's a lot better than wearing these big bulky style ones. So just a real nice life jacket. All right guys, hope you like this episode. It's something a little bit different than what we normally put out on the channel. Yeah. We had fun going on a little shopping spree to Cabela's and spending some money like we do every spring. Hopefully we'll get to show you guys all this stuff out on the water. Don't forget to leave a like if you like this kind of video and please subscribe if you haven't already. Also check out our Instagram. See you guys out on the water.